गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन द टाइटल ऑफ माई पेपर इज आउटकम्स ऑफ डी मेक यूजिंग टेक्नीशियन प्रिपेयर डी मेक ग्राफ्ट एट दी आई बैंक सो एज वी ऑल नो डी सेक एंड डी मेक आर दी टू मोस्ट कॉमन प्रोसीजर्स डन फॉर एंडोथेलियल डिजीजेस हाउ एवर डी मेक इज नाउ बींग इंक्रीजिंगली प्रिफर्ड इन फ्यूक्स एंड अदर एंडोथेलियल कंडीशन विच हैव अ फेवरेबल एंटीरियर चेंबर डायनामिक्स एज वी ऑल नो दी एडोपशन ऑफ द प्री कट डी सेक टिश्यूज एट दी आई बैंक लेट्स टू इट्स वाइड स्केट पॉपुलरिटी हैंस uh uh however one of the main hurdles in the adoption of dmec technique is the graft preparation step which adds to the surgical time may have unpredictability at the time of surgery sometimes may lead to postponement of the procedure and adds to the surgeon anxiety hence like a pre cut dsec a pre prepared dmec graft was prepared at the eye bank and so in this study we wanted to study the outcomes of dmec using pre strip dmec tissues which was prepared by the eye bank technicians our prim- primary outcome measures were the graft clarity at 1 month 3 month and the last follow up visit and the surgeon feedback the secondary outcome measures were the best corrected visual acuity at 1 to 2 months the change in pachymetry at 1 month and 3 to 6 months from baseline and the endothelial cell densities at 3 to 6 month Uh, so this is the graph showing showing the uh, the demix scores which were prepared the the stool preparation started from april 22 and based on the feedback by the surgeons the number of uh, pre strip demix tissues which were prepared increased significantly which jumped to almost uh, if you can see that in the october 23 almost 42 pre prepared tissues were prepared and distributed by the i bank So in this study we analyzed the data of 218 consecutive pre-strip demec tissues between April 22 and December 23 all these tissues were prepared in the eye bank by trained technicians using a standardized method which was the double punch technique the initial distribution was done in the within the institute and the institute locations outside hyderabad subsequently the tissues were distributed to other centers in various parts of the country uh, from uh, uh, by the request from the different surgeons This was the donor selection criteria that was followed age 40 to 75 years endothelial cell count of more than 2500 and only fake eyes were taken for this So this was the method which was used by the technicians at the eye bank the donor epithelium was marked at the site of the hinge initial 9.5 mm partial refination was done and the peripheral skirt of dm was removed after um, staining the uh, uh, the endothelium with trypan blue Uh, the dm endothelial complex was separated leaving only the area of the hinge a stromal window was made repeat staining was done and then the subsequently the tissue was transferred to the viewing chamber and it was transported in the corneal storage media either mk or cornisol so these are the results of our study 218 consecutive pre strip demec tissues were analyzed out of these 13 could not be utilized in 12 cases the tissues did not unfold either because of the intraoperative many uh difficulties in unfolding and on in one case there were tears while separating the tissue the three three patients were lost to follow up hence a total of 202 tissues were analyzed out of these 38 tissues were sent outside the institute network on request for these uh, we excluded these tissues from the analysis for bcv and pachymetry and only surgeon feedback was taken regarding the rebubbling and other issues uh, regarding the graft these are our donor tissue and the recipient tissue characteristics the most common indication for surgery was a pseudophagic bullous keratopathy followed by fecd i syndrome ppmd and then followed by other causes like post hsv uh, out of these 11 patients underwent dmec for a previous failed graft and in 35 patient cataract surgery was done along with dmec Uh, so uh, a clear graft with a well attached lenticule at 1 month was seen in 94.5% of the patients and this was maintained at 3 month and the last follow up visit 11 patients developed primary graft failure out of out of these three patients in three patients there was difficulty in handling the tissue intra op and in eight patients the surgery was uneventful out of these 11 pay four patients had underwent rebubbling for a detached lenticule The rebubbling was done in 17 patients, which was 8.4%. Uh, out of these, 13 had clear graft at the last follow-up, and four developed primary graft failure. Uh, the average pachymetry preoperative was 682, with a, a standard deviation of 120. At one month, it was 559, and at three to six months, it was 513. The baseline endothelial cell count was 2849, and the endothelial cell density at three to six months was 1367. 
Uh, when we analyzed the best corrected visual acuity, 50.6% uh, uh, of the patient had a best corrected visual acuity of 2040 or better. And uh, these are the other uh, tables showing the visual acuities in different patients. Surgeon feedback was taken. There were few feedback regarding peripheral tears in the initial tissues prepared. And uh, others had requested for pre-marking the tissue as well. Uh, so as we saw that the graft failure rate, we compared the graft failure rate in the initial 40 cases followed by rest of the cases. So the graft failure rate subsequently decreased as the experience of our technicians increased in preparing the tissue. Hence the graft failure rate in our study is comparable to other uh, to outcomes of uh, tissues of other eye bank prepared tissues and they also compared to surgeon prepared tissues and the rate of rebubbling was also comparable. Hence, uh, to conclude, pre-prepared DMEC graft by eye bank has good outcomes and is quite feasible. With increasing experience and expertise, the outcomes will uh, improve further as we showed in our study and it, this will help in wider adoption of this technique. Thank you. Thank you. Any comments? You, you need to practice a little more and uh, titrate your time because okay. you, when you go above time, it cuts down from your, yeah, excellent work, uh, big body of work, 200 plus cases by technicians is great, but if you uh, can drop some slides, cut it down to five, yeah? Any comment? Thank you. Yeah, thank you.